Today we are learning how to multiply whole numbers and fractions. Problem 1. Jeremy puts five pieces of string in a straight line. Each piece is two-thirds of a foot long. How long will the whole line be? We can visualize this problem. Here's the first piece of string, the second piece of string, the third, the fourth, and the fifth piece of string. In this problem, we notice that we have five groups of two-thirds. When we have the same fraction repeating like this, we can represent this as 5 times 2 thirds. Now to figure out what this equals, we could just repeatedly add 2 thirds. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds, plus another 2 thirds is 6 thirds, plus another 2 thirds is 8 thirds, plus another 2 thirds is 10 thirds. Then we could make this look nicer by converting it into the mixed number 3 and 1 third. So the answer to this problem is the whole line of string will be 3 and 1 third feet long. Let's practice one of these together. Melanie was fishing. She caught four fish that each weighed 1 third of a pound. How much did all the fish weigh in total? First, what is happening in this problem? We see that Melanie is catching four fish. And how much does each fish weigh? The problem tells us each fish weighs one-third of a pound. Now what multiplication sentence could we use to represent this problem? Notice that we have one-third repeating four times. This is the problem four times one-third. To figure out what this equals, we could just add the pieces together. What does 4 times 1 third equal? Well, 1 third plus 1 third is 2 thirds. 2 thirds plus 1 third is 3 thirds, plus another third is 4 thirds. Then we should convert this to a mixed number. What is 4 thirds as a mixed number? It's 1 and 1 third. So all the fish in total weigh 1 and 1 third pounds. Let's practice another together. Mrs. Smith was grading her students' homework. It took her three-fifths of a minute to grade each student's work. How long will it take her to grade six students' work? Well, what multiplication problem can represent this problem? We think that there are six students who need to have their homework graded. Each one takes three-fifths of a minute. We have six groups of three-fifths, so we solve this as six times three-fifths. Now, what does this equal? Well, if you add these all up, you get 3 fifths, 6 fifths, 9 fifths, 12 fifths, 15 fifths, plus another is 18 fifths. The answer is 18 fifths. But then we should convert this to a mixed number. We, what is 18 fifths as a mixed number? You could write it as 3 wholes and 3 fifths. So it will take Mrs. Smith 3 and 3 fifth minutes to grade her students' work. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What is the answer to this problem? In this problem, I am buying five oranges, and each one weighs two-fifths of a pound. We have five groups of two-fifths, or five times two-fifths. To figure out what it equals, we could add this all up and get an answer of ten-fifths. Then we convert this to a mixed number, and this time it's a clean whole number, two wholes. So all of these oranges together weigh two pounds. Now here's your last problem for this video. What is the answer to this problem? Well, in this problem, there are five months when our plant is growing, and each month it grows three-eighths of an inch. We have five groups of three-eighths, or the multiplication sentence five times three-eighths. To solve this, we could add up all the fractions and get fifteen-eighths or the mixed number, 1 and 7 eighths. In five months, our plant will grow 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. Today you learned how to multiply a whole number and a fraction.